A very good evening uh, to our viewers. Thank you for joining us uh, tonight on uh, the evening review. My name is Toivo Njabela. Tonight on the platform, we are speaking to Enko Demweda. He is uh, a young man who made uh, headlines this week uh, after it was reported in the local media that uh, he has uh, joined the Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters from uh, the Independent Patriots for Change two opposition parties. A lot of uh, insinuations and talks have been made in, in regard to this issue and uh, Enko is here to exclusively talk to us about uh, the events that uh, led to his uh, radical shift from one political party to another. Thank you, sir, for making time. Yes, yes thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Sorry to... Yeah. So, the uh, the uh, the, the big news is that you joined NEFF. You oh, see? yes, sir. You look oh, yes, sir. Uh, great. Yes, event. don't I wear it well? <laughs> <laughs> you look I wear it as well as I wear my skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, clarify the situation, the, the air, clear the air for us uh, mm -hmm. as to what led to this drastic step of, join, of uh, first leaving IPC mm -hmm. uh, and joining NEFF. We'll talk mm -hmm. about the details of. Uh, what you aspire about, what, what you admire about any FF later, but mm. maybe first, why you left your previous political home? Mm. Yes, um, it was um, it was a juncture at which I found myself, and uh, it was a, a juncture of uh, principles, so many principles, and uh, they had to do also with my own personal political philosophy and convictions, mm. and. Um, I, I had to stand strong on my um, uh, principles and uh, it is nothing personal whatsoever, uh, no um, personal innuendos, no grievances. Um, it is simply a uh, principle um, fact. Yeah, yeah. Which, which, which is uh, interesting then because um, uh, members of IPC have been on social media, um, some of them have reached out to some of us in the media, uh, they didn't have polite words for you, which is strange because you are saying there's no grievance, it was just really a, a decision that you took. Mm -hmm. uh, did you say anything negative? Did you accuse the party of anything? I'm told you wrote a resignation letter of some sort to IPC. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, before I even got to the writing of the resignation letter, I had to um, do some sort of uh, damage control before the damage is done. And uh, that was for me to contact uh, my um, uh, very direct leadership um, of my constituency and, um, and uh, whatnot. So um, I contacted them and uh, informed them of my uh, intentions. Uh, it, was, it was very, very hard. And um, the way they took it as well, um, you know, it, it was absolutely not easy. Um, given the... the, the the um, strides that we have been through mm. and uh, they kept questioning wanting to know what has someone done anything to you or something but uh, none uh, none of uh, any of that um, it was it was simply um, yeah just just a matter of principles yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, I, I will say something on that about um, um, others saying something about me. Yeah. Yes, uh, the, the, um, this is an exclusive interview. I, I have been questioned a lot, um, but I have had uh, no comment. By the, um, by the media now? Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. um, what I simply did was uh, to register my resignation and uh, to um, make the um, strategic move mm -hmm. um, where I did it so quick um, to avoid any kind of influence on my decision mm -hmm. because it was a decision that came from so deep um, in my conviction. Yeah. 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 When you're saying it's a matter of principle, uh, Enko, what, what does it mean? Because um, you, you have been with IPC for since its formation, I suppose. Yes, sir. Uh, what principles existed then that no longer exist now to your satisfaction? Well, if I was in America, I would, um, I would be pleading my Fifth Amendment and uh, I will wish to plead my Fifth Amendment right now. 
Well, what does it, what does it mean? Yes. Uh, right <laughs> that I, 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 yeah, that I will not um, comment on that as yeah. to not to um, uh, incriminate myself or to uh, bring um, other whatever. Like okay. I said, it is a, it is a, um, you know, okay. I will mention the, the, the joining of IPC when I got um, with the movement, the convictions that I had then um, are convictions that are driven by uh, my philosophy, which is nationalism, uh, pan-Africanism, and, uh, and all that. And so um, throughout um, with, uh, with the IPC, I have um, uh, delivered as much as I could. I have um, put so much that um, um, I poured so much from the cup that yeah. it ran empty, and I believe I I have reached um, a a roof a rooftop type of point where I can um, no longer pour from an empty cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the the people in IPC who are having a go at you, uh, especially on social media. Uh, looking at your resignation from the party, from the perspective of the party just held its uh, uh, elective conference where its candidates for parliament were elected, yeah. and uh, you are not on that list, or maybe you are far, I'm not too sure, and uh, <clears throat> you didn't make it, and everybody's hammering you on there to say, oh, Oh, these are people who are just in the party for, for positions. <laughs> Once they couldn't yeah. get that, they yeah. are leaving. Yeah. How, how yeah. do you respond to that? I will respond to that to say that the um, uh, national um, elective conference that um, um, happened has not um, uh, given any, um, it has not wounded me or given me any grievances. And um, I have not um, in any way. Um, even protested the list that was uh, produced. So I, I joyfully um, um, rejoiced with my fellow patriots and uh, we, we, we headed on to say that, um, yes, this is uh, what we are going to present. Um, but again, I will say, um, I have not been um, aggrieved by that process. So um, it can't be that it's because of um, me not being on the list that uh, I have resigned. Were you surprised that you were not on the list? Did you expect to be there? Do you think that you have, you have put yourself out there as a credible member of IPC at the time mm -hmm. and also your track record in the party? If you have any, do you think that it speaks mm -hmm. to a situation where you think you should have been uh, con going to parliament? Well, um, or you didn't appear on that this list was, because... Um, this was my second attempt at... Um, at um, going for public office and uh, my first attempt was in 2020 mm. when I um, um, when I was summoned by the constituents to to, to be a representative um, that was in the city council the local authority elections um, I never made it onto onto into the city council in fact I was number 15 on the list and um, realistically speaking, um, we were not to attain all 15 seats, but I was joyfully and um, um, with the, 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 the um, motive and the conviction that I have, I was joyfully campaigning throughout until we, we attained four seats. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, I was not even um, aggrieved by that or any of that. And so at my second attempt of um, um, availing myself for public office. Um, in fact, before that, um, I took I took um, a, 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 a program where I um, went to be a public servant, rather, um, uh, being an administrator of a um, international NGO from Austria. Um, I was uh, implementing water programs, so I was. Um, serving um, the nation um, on an NGO uh, ticket and um, sharpening myself as a, um, as a servant. And I believe in those four years, I have, uh, I have, I have really uh, sharpened myself as a servant. In fact, um, I have a good uh, financial uh, track record with the uh, NGO um, in that um, um, if you are good with your finances and then um, uh, further projects will be funded. 
and so um and so i i yeah more funds i are always available in that sense now um at me availing myself of being summoned by the constituents to, again to be a representative i i i did that um i voluntarily i accepted the nomination and um and we went through that and um what came out was accepted as it is and uh, we rejoiced and that was that yeah yeah without the numbers at ipc's elected conference we had uh, an article in namibian sun this week that uh, got me attacked by some uh, IPC people saying that uh, I'm uh, trying to discredit the party. But uh, we had people who came to us, members of IPC, who are mm. saying that um, they do not know how many votes they, they got. Okay. They are just ranked as number whatever, mm -hmm. and you don't know how you got how you go how you got ranked as such. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. They would have loved to see the numbers. Mm -hmm. In your case, would you have wanted to know? Did it matter to you at all that uh, uh, you, at a personal level, just to also know how much support you had in the party, or was it uh, an unnecessary element to you, whether you know how much you got or not? Since there was no personal interest, I will not say it from a personal. Um point of view or so, I will say um, rather um, straight, um, setting the record straight, that um, I was propelled by that article which you just mentioned to come and set the record straight. In fact, to distance myself from that article which um, uh, was unreferenced and it's good that you are mentioning where the um, information is coming from without uh, revealing it's okay. but. Um, I myself, like I said, I haven't been aggrieved by the uh, elective uh, process, so um, I, I will not uh, mention on um, what I intended to have happened there because um, I took an oath to say that um, everything that happened was uh, free and fair, and that that is as such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in defense of our article, it's not. It was not unreferenced. It was actually referenced. We okay. just. Uh, we had uh, we had uh, your, your name, of course. We didn't speak to you. I must also state this categorically that uh, you're not the one who who came to us. The fact that you were mentioned in the article, you were mentioned only in reference to the fact that the very same day when we were doing this article, because mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, we were doing this article from early in the day already, and then mm -hmm. only in the afternoon at around around two or three o'clock okay. in the afternoon, did I see that you have, NBC reported that you have joined an EFF. And uh, so then we saw, oh, okay. How ironic is it that we are working on this article mm -hmm. about people complaining in, in IPC about mm -hmm. this whole, how the con conference was handled. And then there was you resigning, of course it was not, your your reasons for resignation were not mentioned uh, by NBC by the NBC report. Okay. So, but then we put that also to say that uh, there are those who because we also knew that last weekend someone in Omsat region was about to be presented at the Swapa Rally in Otapi. Someone from okay. IPC, a very senior person, okay. and then they were advised by their family to say that it was a bit embarrassing to be mm. presented publicly. They just want to join mm. quietly. But that person was also complaining about the fact mm -hmm. that uh, they they don't know how much they got, mm -hmm. or the or, and stuff like that. So, okay. so, so we would we we stand by our article as far as our article is concerned. But I just wanted to say that, uh, of mm -hmm. course, you are not the one who came to us complaining, okay. and your attitude you. maybe shows because even here I'm str I'm, I'm struggling to get out of you. Yeah. Uh, any yeah. uh, much much information, <laughs> but we we'll right. go we'll go for a break quickly and then we we'll return. Right, we'll return with uh, and yeah. uh, condom weather. Sure. We continue with uh, and condom weather on uh, the evening review. Uh, so IPC for you is uh, is water under the bridge. You have joined. The Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters. Yes, sir. In this pool of so many political parties, yeah. why Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters? Yeah. Well, um, 
You know, um, I, I, I find myself as a conscious politician. I have been um, uh, sharpened by the teachings of the man who writes what he likes, Steve Biko. And um, it is the founding fathers of uh, the uh, Sabukwe and the um, Solomon Kalushi Mahlangu and their sacrifices. Um, those are the things that have been driving my energy. And um, it's even since, uh, since uh, 2016, when uh, the article which you interviewed me on at some time, um, on, on, the, on the effect of uh, unemployed graduates uh, campaign and all that. So um, through that time, I, I, I had that, that, um, that drive and um, uh, I identify myself with uh, those founding fathers that I just mentioned. Um, as well as the Osage for Kwame Nukurumas and the uh, Julius Kambarage Nyerere and the uh, Sam Safishuna Nuyoma and the uh, Andiba Toivo Yatoivo. So I identify myself with those founding fathers because um, in that sense, um, I also identify myself as a new founding father in this generation. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a generational call to which um, the the... the 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 times have have, have um, brought this forth to us and um, we have a generational call which we uh, must achieve and uh, we are going to do that uh, by any means necessary and um, uh, i identify myself with uh, the uh, julius malema them and the mbuisen indlozi and the floyd shivambus uh, uh, you know um, since since me entering the political um, arena. Um, 2019, uh, the independent uh, presidential um, uh, candidates campaign was uh, going on where I um, was rather like a running mate or a, um, a right-hand man of the independent uh, presidential candidate of that year. And um, it was the same, it was the same conviction that was driving me personally. And um, I will say that um, I, I, I went as much as to, to meet the, the very, one of the first uh, petitioners um, against the colonialism that happened in Namibia. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is uh, the late Professor uh, Mze Mburumba Kerina. And um, he, he sort of sharpened me even further. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and uh, I, I, I have been given some kind of like a torch mm. for the for this for this generation, and um, and I will say that um, I, I have been enlightened to say that when when you have a light or a candle that is having a light, yeah. and you um, uh, light the candle of another who does not have light, mm. the light does not go out of your candle, yeah. and so. As I say, I identify myself as a new founding father. Um, Mburumba Kerina has uh, given me so much conviction and I have um, even hit the, the forehead of, of my head on, on the palm of his hand. Mm. And, um, and uh, I, am, I am compelled to continue the struggle, which is the economic emancipation. Reality has already brought to us that um, the... Um, the reign of liberation movement led governments is uh, is the expiry date has already is already upon us in fact the expiry red date is uh, 30 years by uh, research and uh, 2019 was the 30 years and um, and we are carrying on so um i am putting my political uh, weight to yeah. the economic emancipation of um, of our of our masses yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a strange uh, choice, as democratic as it is. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm saying it's strange because um, the economic, Namibia economic freedom fighters had a lot of uh, legal issues lately. Um, of course, they've been resolved um, by and large. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the complaints by Mr. Kalimbo, who's your deputy leader now, mm -hmm. was that um, this battle with ECN, uh, e ECN and uh, the deregistration of the party recently mm -hmm. has actually derailed the party. 
uh, the party's campaign mm. rhythm ahead of uh, 27 mm. November. Mm. Um, did you look into that aspect or it doesn't matter to you whether the party <laughs> yeah. does well or not in the yeah. election? Um, I will give my reason not based on uh, what uh, my deputy president um, mentioned. Um, because um, I had um, a, a specific feeling myself when they were going through the deregistration. And um, I myself in 2019, as we were um, campaigning, we were saying um, Pucho voted the independent presidential candidate and uh, National Assembly anywhere else. And I myself have voted for NEFF in 2019. And uh, in 2019, the NEFF has attained 13,580 votes. Uh, which gives them two seats, and uh, the quota is about uh, 6,000 or so. Um, I will say um, I have not been derailed by the deregistration because uh, I understood that it was rather an administrative issue, not so much of a legal issue. Mm. Um, the compliance, to say um, the, the, the financial documents were uh, submitted, and uh, the, the, the only in compliance was that uh, they were not published in the local publications. Yeah. So I will say I then uh, took um, a, a, another self reintrospection to say, since I identify myself with this underdog that is now being bullied, um, I communicated with the leadership of the NEFF while they are deregistered. Mm. while they are in the deregistration moment and I, I gave them motivation to say carry forward. Um, it's rather just a, 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 a legal issue which, which you can, you know. So, um, so it was, it was after, after the deregistration um, that, that um, I realized that the 13,580 voters uh, some might have passed on, that's fine, but others might have been inspired by whatever happened. Um, to say this electorate deserves to be protected somehow. Yeah. They have made a choice and uh, it was a conscious decision and um, I am putting my weight at the NEFF to reinvigorate the energy at the NEFF, to reinvigorate the administration of the NEFF, as well as the leadership of it. And uh, that is to say that I have faith that uh, the NEFF can grow uh, into a stronger um, party than, um, than it is being um, undermined right now. Yeah. yeah. Did they promise you anything? Oh, no. Are you going to oh, parliament? No. Um, in fact, I do not wish uh, to be uh, to be nominated if I am uh, if when they are to have the when we are to have the convention. I I, I will rather um, wish to be doing administration and uh, carrying the boxes of the t-shirts and uh, the the barrettes and uh, recruiting, mm -hmm. um, especially so in the informal settlements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the. Uh I know that you're not a party spokesperson, but um, you just spoke about a convention, which is very strange again, because uh, I don't know whether an EFF does its things differently in terms of communications. We don't know, or maybe I'm not just on their mailing list, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there is little information coming from an EFF uh, okay. as far as the, its upcoming conventions, and because okay. it's supposed to be a democratic uh, institution. Yeah. And uh, one of the issues uh, well, which I need to to pick your brain on quickly before we mm -hmm. we sign off mm -hmm. is uh, how leadership is uh, is picked in in your new party mm -hmm. uh, because we just see the two gentlemen, my good friends, Mr. Mkuilongo and Mr. Kalimbo Ipumbu, okay. uh, there. You know, we don't know how. Th when last there was any Congress in the party, okay. where are the women, for example, in the party? We don't okay. see them. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on those issues? My thoughts on those issues is that I see there is an opportunity for um, for us to um, to to work on it and um, um, bring it out in the open because uh, there is a founding manifesto of the NEFF. And um, there, there are policies on how conventions are, are run. Um, we don't do conferences. 
Um, the way it is done in South Africa, it is the way that it is done in Namibia. It is um, rather uh, uh, perhaps a, a matter of exposure. Um, but um, at, the, at, the co at the press conference of the uh, re-registration of the NEFF, the deputy president has mentioned that um, 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 yes, the party will be having a convention. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I did not know uh, that you were not aware of that. Um, but uh, there was media there um, who were informed of um, an oncoming convention. And uh, we, will, we will be looking uh, forward to that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is simply just an administrative um, um, process, which we are looking forward to 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 reinstate our our members of parliament into the parliament, which is the two members. Uh, that is that is at the moment specifically the the, the main uh, mission because we we have the, that quota of the thirteen thousand five hundred and eighty, and we have to inspire many more. And um, yeah, that is that is the work that is ahead of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Emperor, thank you for coming yeah. through. Yeah, no, thank you for having me, my brother. Yes. Yeah. That is uh, Nkonde Mweda. He is uh, a new member of uh, the Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters, recently uh, leaving uh, the Independent Patriots for Change and uh, coming to studio to set the record straight after a barrage of uh, claims that uh, a lot of insinuations that he wanted to clarify and uh, to contextualize. Thank you for watching.